Hi, my name is a Highlander and welcome to this tutorial video. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up OBS to stream from the Ultimate 64 to the U64 streamer app. The Ultimate 64 is capable of streaming audio and video over an IP network. The U64 streamer app can receive these streams and you can use them to stream to the internet. Now the first thing you'll have to do is to set up the Ultimate 64 for streaming. I can show you that using my own installation which has already been set up. So I'll start the stream and take you into the Ultimate 64 menu. If I press F2 you will see an option data streams. If I press enter you can see the IP addresses of the PC that I want to stream to. As you can see, you can stream to different IP addresses for each stream, VIC for video and audio for audio. Each stream goes to a different port number. If I press F5, you can see the options here to start and stop each stream. If I press enter, you can see the IP address and port number that I've just entered. The Ultimate 64 app is capable of starting the streams on the Ultimate 64 remotely. We'll have a look at that next. If I go into settings and go into the general tab, I can see a checkbox here. If I check this box, every time the Ultimate 64 streamer app is started, it starts the stream on the Ultimate 64 automatically. It's a very handy feature. Note that the IP address that I have to enter here is the IP address of the Ultimate 64. Also note the port numbers. Once you've entered this information correctly, you can save settings and the stream will start automatically. Now the next step is to set up OBS for streaming. I'm using the standard version of OBS here but you can also use Streamlabs OBS. It looks a little different, but it's basically the same application. To set up OBS for streaming, you need to set up a scene. OBS combines scenes with sources to make something streamable. A source can be a display or uh, an application's window. It can be a, a webcam. It can be an audio source. It can be anything you like. So first of all, I've added a scene here. Adding a scene is as simple as pressing plus here to add. I can add another one, U64 streamer scene. As you can see, I've got an empty scene here. Next, I'm going to add a source. And the source that I want to add is the window of our U64 streamer application. So I press add in sources and choose window capture. I'm going to type U64 streamer app. This name can be anything you like. I press OK, and you can see that I get the control panel, but not the entire screen. That is because the U64 streamer application has two windows. Now what I do here is I choose the lower option in the window match priority to find a window of the same executable. In the top drop-down list, I can choose the U64 streamer executable and presto, there it is. I can press OK and now I've got my U64 streamer app ready for streaming. I can resize it and basically anything I do on the Commodore 64, I can stream. Now before I can start streaming, what I have to do is set up OBS to actually stream. For this, you need a YouTube account or a Twitch account or a Mixer account or Facebook or anything, and they will give you information that you need to use to start streaming. So if I go in OBS and I click on settings, and then I go to stream, I can choose a service from this list. Now Twitch wants me to give the account information, YouTube will give me a stream key that I need to enter here, and once you've done that, all you have to do is click Start Streaming, and you're good to go. I hope the information in this video has been useful. Thank you for watching, and happy streaming. <music>